Good morning, East Texas. I'm Dawn Rhodes, and this is the TylerPaper.com Morning News Update. The operator of the electric grid that lights most of Texas has asked customers to use less electricity because of the extreme cold. The Electric Reliability Council of Texas urges conservation through noon today. ERCOT also warned of an increased risk of rotating blackouts in the Rio Grande Valley of South Texas amid high demand for power. Some Central Texas schools, including Austin Independent School District, canceled classes today due to the weather and road conditions. The University of Texas at Austin and Texas State University in San Marcos delayed opening until noon. Encore this morning reported nearly 1,000 customers without power in North Texas where scattered snow left behind icy roads. Here's the rest of this hour's top stories. This is AP News Minute. The Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia begin Friday. International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach says things are going smoothly with only a small hiccup here or there. Utility crews in Maryland and Pennsylvania hope to have power back to most homes and businesses later Friday. More than 400,000 customers were still without power on Friday morning following this week's ice and snowstorm. Police in southern Wisconsin are searching for a newborn boy who went missing from his home. Caden Powell, who's less than a week old, was reported missing Thursday morning. A video has surfaced showing Justin Bieber in a Miami jail following his January 23rd arrest on DUI charges. Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press, with AP News Minute. Here's your weather forecast from meteorologist Scott Fossey. Your forecast today on this Friday, TGIF, 28 degrees early this morning, 32 at noon today. We're only looking for highs today, approaching 35, back down to around 33 by the time you head home. 20% chance for some light snow around East Texas, about a 30% chance between noon and about 6 o'clock this evening. As a disturbance now located out West Texas way, you can see it here on this computer model, continues to move in our general direction during the day today. I-30 North will have the best chance for seeing some light accumulations upwards of about a half of an inch to possibly possibly an inch, especially Highway 82 north to the Red River, while the rest of us as far south as the I-20 corridor, including cities like Tyler, Longview, the Marshall vicinity, back west toward Terrell, could see a light dusting of snow. Just a cold rain to the south of that, possibility of a bit of a freezing rain mix in there during the morning hours before temperatures get above freezing around lunchtime today. All that moisture rolls east of us tonight, sets the stage for a nice weekend. Check this out, 56 tomorrow, up to 58 on Sunday. Thanks for watching and look for more news updates throughout the day.